Okay, so it took a while. There were some major battles. You can see it here. And uh, in that time, I just, you know, sat back and relaxed. It wasn't actually all that long, but still, no need to have that. I'm gonna do this every time I'll see a battle coming because it seems like they are on it uh, for some time now. Anyways, we got a researcher in construction and production and uh, Louis Powell increased his wealth creation bonus. But the ground with the office administrator Kyle Howard has increased and Commander Harvey Baxter increases training bonus. But most importantly, we have just finished the Jump Drive JC everyone. We did it. We did it. So the class 1 freighter can now finally be put into action. So let's find it. It is right about here. It takes 40,000 tons. Oh, man. And with that, uh, the freighter is only capable of a speed of 177 kilometers. Well, ain't that nice. I'm gonna get rid of cryogenic transports and uh, the cargo hold and the cargo systems because I'll just keep it like this for now. Uh, because what we need to do at this point is we need to continue researching the engines. And I think. Man, I wish we could see what these things were. There's a Lillian engine. Yeah, this one is the one we need. Uh, definitely. So I'll assign 14 labs and set it to Christopher Lynch. Should be ready in, yeah, about a month. And once this is done, we will continue with the comment and friendship uh, uh, engines. But it, when we finish uh, the Rosso's nuclear engine, we can design what we wanted to design this whole time and that is class 1 and class 2 freighters because that's the last thing we need to put in there. Those are the magnificent engines that will carry our task groups on their way. Freighters will be slow, they will be vulnerable, but they will do what we will ask them to do. Oh, and we have added 2,000 tons to Altona Defense Factory. Good for you, Altona Defense Factory. You be nice now. 29th of, of October, and we are advancing towards the engine research. Seems like no one has a thing to do. Uh, maybe a terraforming installation is... Oh, but they're trading. They're loading trade goods. Everyone is loading trade goods. There are some who are not. Those are not our problem. We have William Skinner, who increases shipbuilding bonus. Okay, I have no idea who he is. And Lieutenant Commander Morgan Davis, initiative crew training, fighter combat, terraforming, and logistics. Captain Jordan Lewis, oh no, Captain Jordan Lewis has been killed in an accident. Oh man, that is so sad, he was good, he was really good. But I don't even know where this Jordan Lewis uh, Geo team is, I thought we disbanded all our Geo teams. Hmm. Yeah, but it's true because the rear admiral um, who died was logistics. I don't need logistics. I need propulsion. That's the thing we are after. But at least it's 19 of them. Oh, we might get the research now. Um, but most likely not. 
Item not found in this collection. I'm gonna new administrator and now the engine should be ours. Here it comes. Yes, we got the Rolls Royce nuclear commercial engine Lillian. So, let's go with this. We will. If we add it, uh, the Donald engine, you can see that the ship can go for how much? Uh, 545 billion kilometers. Wow. But if we add the Livian, it can go to 669.7 billion kilometers. So this engine is much better. The Donald engine has been surpassed, and from now on, um, this one will be the one we'll go with. But we have to think rationally. So let's start with the jump drive. That will immediately increase the ship size to 42,000 tons. Then we need to give it uh, what engineering space we need there. We need the fuel storage. But we'll probably give it the large one. Uh, we'll give it some... Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Cargo storages. Cargo hold standard. One, two, three, four. That means it's 141,900 tons at this point. And uh, squadron size two, it can only take. Wait, what? Oh yeah, these ships can only transfer to... How is that possible? Did I... research it wrong? Man, that would... completely ruin my day. Where is the jump engine? Oh no, the max one size is really just two. And if I add it to, yeah. It's smaller. Okay, I didn't know that. So that would be just pairs. No longer will that be uh, ships of free, but we will have to. Why is this open? We have to design them uh, to work in pairs. Uh, or in, you know, fours. So the class one freighter is here in 141,900,000 tons. If I add, uh, how big is each of these living class engines? Okay, we'll need more of these because that just doesn't fly. Okay, now we need some some cargo holds no that's not what we need we need a fuel storage fifty six point or oh, three million liters is a bit excessive I believe this should be okay four hundred forty three kilometers did I Oh yeah, I didn't, uh, 30 billion kilometers is still good, and we need more cargo holds. So if I add uh, two more cargo holds, I can't fit in a fourth one. But three cargo holds, and uh, 
fuel capacity, it can go for 19.1 billion kilometers. If we added a second fuel storage, it wouldn't increase the size that much and it would take 2 million liters. And we go 37 billion kilometers. Now remember, we are designing these to last, so we need them to be big. We will need some cargo handling systems. And what else? I could easily fit in three more small cargo holds. Dep oh, deployment time. We need to increase deployment time. It's going for, I don't know, 24. 48, 62, no, that's too many, uh, 62, so, then 86, and what could I take away? Uh, not much, to be honest, there isn't anything I could take away, 60. If I project it like this, it's just far away bad. God damn it, 20. Uh, well, if it's 62, that's three years. 24, 48, no, 72 is uh, three years. 72. I can drop one of the fuel storages and it will still have space to add a few one fuel storage large okay and if we give it yeah that kind of works so it has 90,000 cargo uh, a cargo handling multiplier of 20 a jump drive Rolls Royce nuclear engine uh, times six and a fuel capacity of a million and two hundred fifty thousand liters. It can get go uh, for nine hundred eighty-two days. Okay, uh, now yes, this is a thing we really need to look for. Component summary. Yeah, we will not be able to do that. We will not be able to do that because this is too much. It needs to be something like 20% and we are way over that. So I cost two, can I copy this? Copy design and it will be renamed to class two freighter which will drop the jump drive and uh, the small cargo holds but instead will take no 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 um, instead it will take two more cargo holds yeah it's too different now what if I added some, you know, this is too big, and this is too damn big, where is it, cryogenic, where did it go, six cargo hold, Wait, did I? Oh, I, I see. No, I wanted this. We could have that. We could have 20,000 people in there. Now, that could easily make this doable. But it's still... If it costs from class 1 freighter.
435. And how much do we need? <laughs> I don't know, I know. I guess this could work. But I'm not really sure how. But what I can what I can say is that it's not working right now. Cargo one, yeah, thousand eighty. And the other one, four hundred forty-five. So it'd be better if we had uh, this one, but two hundred fifty, two hundred fifty. And we need to add some something more in here. Maybe I could add some. These are the. Where is the civilian EM sensor? It's here. That works. And something else I could. Ah, uh, well, that is not going to help at all, to be honest. How much does the class one have for zero? No need to go over that. Now they are the same speed, and pretty much what all we can go for. I don't know. Is there something else that we would need now? Boat bay, Kraji. No, I guess this is four hundred forty-two. If I added the basic, that wouldn't help, would it? Civilian EM. No, but I'm thinking that maybe this is a desperate try, but. No, it's not working. So never mind. Let's just get rid of these. And here we have the class one and class two freighters, which are now going to go into production. Class one can uh, carry ninety thousand cargo and has a cargo handling multiplier of twenty. While the cargo uh, class two freighter, wait, what am I saying? Class one freighter. Oh, and it's not a cruiser. Uh, it's not a cruiser. Is there something like uh, interstellar? No. Hyper capable freighter. Is there like a jump freighter? Yeah, there is a jump freighter. And class 2 will be just a freighter. Escort freighter? No. Okay, so the class one freighter uh, is able to carry 90,000 uh, cargo and goes by speed 250 kilometers per second, has a range of 21.2 billion kilometers, which is 982 days at full power and has deployment time of three years. And the class two freighter has the ability to carry 125,000 cargo and 20,000 colonists while it has a speed of 250 kilometers and it has uh, additional sensors which can be used as... I'm kind of sad that this one doesn't. Uh, is there anything I could you know, put in there? So it would have the sensor. If I got rid of this and add it, yeah, 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 it works. Okay, so we now have uh, the capability of basic uh, from addiction rate on both. Still not eligible. No. Okay, but that doesn't mean there's a problem. Both has the capacity of uh, a million and a quarter liters of fuel and range is in both cases 21.2 billion kilometers. They are made for each other, 
on the other hand the class 1 has uh, more crew uh, but the class 2 can carry colonists as well and more cargo and as for me it is liberating to know what the future of our interstellar colonization will look like there is there are no design errors these things are capable of flight they are working um, MSP max repair intended deployment time yeah they're commercial they have engineering spaces so they should work mm. yeah I guess that's all so now it just takes the ability to assign class 2 freighter, why class 2 and not class 1? Wait, is class 1 uh, marked as military? Oh, what is wrong? 149,000 tons. Oh, because I marked this. As... Silly me. Silly me. So the Nagasaki shipyard can retool for class 1 freighter. And it's gonna take like forever. 23rd of July. 1093 yes just one last check if they are uh, inc incompatible yeah they are okay so we will start with the class one and, and once they're retooled we will start building them the class two will be much faster to build and uh, we don't really need anything special from them so class one freighter retool and there we go so that was the goal for today and we achieved it we also achieved the engine research that's what I wanted to say sorry and the terraforming rate now do we have some more terraforming facilities on earth yes we do so let's mark it for uh, for hauling out and we have some four automated mines and seven regular mines so these will go out to four mines and seven mines these are the last things I'm gonna do in this session because I want to end right now but we will give this order so that um, I don't have to remember next time I'll just start with the general uh, Mercury will get what will Mercury get? Kuma Solar has almost none so we will hold six here and one to Mercury so you will demand six Mercury will demand one. So yeah, uh, that's all for this session. I hope you enjoyed. We did some serious stuff. We are oh, I for, that's what I forgot. We are building our two first Dados two jump cruisers too, and they're almost halfway done. And once we retool for the class one freighter, we will probably have the Viton Industries ready to build the class two freighter. And that will allow us to be happy and merry. Uh, Earth is finishing their terraforming installations, vision traps. We will then assign those 30% out of these 42 uh, financial centers. And we will divide the 10% into uh, mines and automated mines because those will be hauled uh, to, well, you know, to our Ganymede is at. 20 uh 230,000 people to uh that's perfect 
IO is growing as well. Everyone is merry, people. We're doing a great job. And furthermore, we have 0 0.0057 atmosphere on Luna, which raised the temper surface temperature to almost minus 51.5 Celsius. Ain't that great? It is. It is. And I'll see you next time.